In this video, I'm gonna show you guys an advanced rack technique using a simple retriever or highly performant retrieval mechanism with GPT-4 Omni. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, before we go ahead, make sure you guys have downloaded all the packages that are listed over here and you have an open AI API key. And now before we start coding, let's just talk about the Ensemble Retriever that I'm discussing about. So Ensemble Retriever is a way to get the best performance of all the different retrievers out there. And this thing is based upon a paper called Reciprocal Rank Fusion Algorithm, which is posted by some really smart people over here. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not, I'm not quite sure about the, every single detail of this paper, but this specific method is available on both Llama Index and Langchain. So it's pretty usable for whichever package you're using. But the overall idea behind this algorithm or this method is that you have your basic rag over here. You have documents, you generate embeddings, you store it somewhere, and then you pass it uh, to the LLM and then you get some results. Now imagine that, and then you boost it somehow. You boost the retriever to get the best retrieved passages. And then you can use this nice function where you pass in different retrievers. So you can have like five different retrievers that is applicable for your use case. Now I made a video on advanced rag before talking about, I think eight different retrieval, advanced retrieval techniques. What if you want to use all of them over here? So this is called ensemble rag. You pass in the documents, you generate embeddings, and you use different ensemble retrievers to get the best retrieve passages, which you then use to pass in with a prompt and context to the LLM. Now this will help the LLM generate better results because it has a better context. Now let's start with the actual implementation. First thing we're going to do, we're going to load the data. Now over here, I am actually using a web-based loader. That is because I want to use two different websites. Now these two websites are essentially talking about the who is the GOAT debate versus LeBron James and Kobe and maybe my, Michael Jordan. Now, personally, I think it's, well, not, I just don't think, I believe that it's actually LeBron James who is the GOAT. I mean, that's, there shouldn't be any other arguments over there, but who am I to say? So let's actually see what the people are saying. So we pass in two different types of websites over here and we import them. So make sure you guys have actually passed in the OpenAI API key and then we initialize our data over here. Now we're gonna make different retrievers to use this data that we have here. So first we're gonna initialize a BM25 retriever using the data we have. This is the standard basic retriever that is used on most rag applications, if I'm not completely wrong. And then we're gonna use another one, which is a slightly fancier, it's called FICE retriever. So we're gonna pass in this one. So over here, we initialize an OpenAI embeddings, and then we made a vector store from the FICE package and we're going to use it as a retriever. Now I just want to pass in the pretty recent embeddings model that OpenAI has. It's actually quite good, but we're gonna make it even better with our symbol retriever. So we're gonna run that. Okay, so it's actually complaining about, I don't have an OpenAI API key. So I have to just set that real quick. Okay, now I passed in the OpenAI API key. So this should run with no problem. And there we go. We have converted our data into a FICE vector store and retriever. Now we're gonna combine these two retriever, the exciting part. So this is a simply calling the ensemble retriever and passing in a list of different retrievers. And as far as I understood, you can have like many different retrievers over here and they can assign some weights. And then you can get a, a really big ensemble retriever, which allows you to retrieve the best passages or paragraphs that you need for your RAG application. So we're gonna run that. And now we're gonna make the RAG pipeline. So we are going to be using our GPT-4.0 or Omni model. So standard procedure, nothing, nothing new, nothing crazy over here. We call in the LLM, we call in the prompt, a, a very, very standard rag prompt. And then we make the QA chain, that's done. And now we start asking questions to see who is the GOAT based upon people's opinions. So question, we're gonna pass it in over here, run it. And now we're going to print it out using my favorite package over here. It allows me to read it much more nicely. So based on people's opinion, Michael Jordan is narrowly considered the GOAT. 
greatest of all time. Edging out LeBron James according to a poll of 133 NBA players. Okay, well that's what people think. But I think this information was actually from a very, very old forums. And I think recently LeBron did actually make the highest amount of points any NBA player ever made. So yeah, anywho. So this is advanced rag using Ensemble Retriever, a really nice way to improve your retrieval accuracy. Now, of course, this has to be tested more and more. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.